Rembrandt, the master of light and shadow. Welcome to Chronicles, the window to our past. In this episode, we venture into the 17th century, immersing ourselves in the world of Rembrandt Harmenzoon van Rijn, an artist renowned for his mastery over light and shadow, and his groundbreaking contributions to the Dutch Golden Age of Art. Born in 1606 in the city of Leiden, Netherlands, Rembrandt's love for painting was evident from his early days. He was apprenticed to the history painter Peter Lastman, whose influence would be seen in Rembrandt's narrative-rich paintings. Rembrandt's innovative techniques set him apart from his contemporaries. His unique approach to light and shadow, known as chiaroscuro, created dramatic scenes that were both intimate and monumental. He was also a master etcher, pushing the boundaries of the medium to new levels. Among Rembrandt's most acclaimed works is The Night Watch, a stunning group portrait that showcases his mastery of light and shadow. His self-portraits, including self-portrait with two circles, are celebrated for their introspective honesty. His moving painting The Jewish Bride, reflects his ability to capture profound emotions. Despite his success and stature, Rembrandt's later life was a tale of decline and misfortune. He was as extravagant in his spending as he was in his use of paint. He bought a grand house in Amsterdam, collected art and artifacts, and lived beyond his means. When creditors came calling in 1656, Rembrandt was forced to declare bankruptcy. He had to sell his precious collections, his house, and even his printing press. But financial woes weren't the only shadow cast over Rembrandt's life. He experienced deep personal losses as well. He outlived both his wife Saskia and their son Titus. He also endured the deaths of three of their children in infancy. His later works are imbued with a sense of melancholy that many attribute to these profound griefs. When Rembrandt died in 1669, he was buried in an unmarked grave in Amsterdam's Westerkerk. After 20 years, as was the practice of the time, his remains were discarded. The artist who had painted captains and kings ended his days in near obscurity. Rembrandt's star, however, would not remain dim. The 18th and 19th centuries saw a Rembrandt revival. His work, with its deep humanity and emotional honesty, resonated with Romantic-era artists and critics. His reputation grew, and he was recognized as one of the great masters of the European tradition. Artists as varied as Goya, with his bold use of dark and light, and Van Gogh, with his raw emotional power, found inspiration in Rembrandt's work. Even today, his self-portraits, honest, unflinching, and deeply human, have inspired modern and contemporary artists from Francis Bacon to Chuck Close. Today, we appreciate not just Rembrandt's technical mastery and innovation, but also his ability to capture the human experience in all its light and shadow. His art continues to move audiences, and his influence can still be seen in art and culture. Rembrandt's journey from fame to obscurity and back again only heightens our fascination with this master of light and shadow. An interesting lesser-known fact is that Rembrandt produced hundreds of etchings, exploring themes from daily life to biblical scenes. He often reused plates, scratching out faces and details, then reworking them to create entirely new compositions. Speculation and controversy have always surrounded the art world. Some theorists suggest that several of Rembrandt's paintings were actually created by his students, while others speculate about hidden symbols and messages in his work. While these theories add a layer of mystery to his life, most art historians agree that Rembrandt's distinct style is difficult to imitate. A frequently asked question is, why is Rembrandt considered a great artist? Rembrandt's greatness lies in his ability to portray human emotions and his innovative use of light and shadow. His extensive body of work, comprising portraits, self-portraits, landscapes, historical scenes, and biblical themes, shows a range and depth that few artists have achieved. We've traveled through time to understand the genius of Rembrandt, an artist whose impact on art is immeasurable. His intimate portraits, his innovative techniques, and his ability to portray the depths of the human soul make him an enduring figure in art history. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life and works of Rembrandt. Make sure to tune in for the next episode of Chronicles, where we continue to explore fascinating stories from history. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Chronicles to uncover more incredible narratives from our past. History isn't just about understanding what came before us, it's about discovering how our past shapes our present and future. Until our next journey through time, take care.